Hey everybody, uh, too many toys, not enough time here. And this video is going to focus on the um, pairing of an ELM 327 OBD2 Bluetooth interface to an Android device. Um, this is something that I had issues with, and I finally figured out how to do it uh, correctly and with almost 100% certainty every time. So I'm going to share that with you and hopefully save you a little bit of grief. Um, if you're having trouble connecting your ELM327 device to uh, an Android device of some sort that you may own. Alright, so step one, um, what I found is you don't necessarily have to have the car in, you know, ignition on or accessory, any sort of position. In fact, on my car, the key is not ins inserted at all. So for me, step one is well, actually, step one, before you plug anything in, is take your device, and if you have the OBD2 um, interface listed as a paired device, go ahead and remove it. You don't want it actually on there right now. And if you have Torque, which is what I'm using currently running, rem go ahead and quit Torque as well. So, we're pretty much square one now. The device will be, will typically be powered on as soon as you plug in um, or plug it into the OBD2 connector on your car. Um, in my case, the I'm gonna watch my legs for a little bit there, but there we go. So we got lights. It initialized, and once you see the light on like that, um, it pretty much means it's getting 12 volt power, and hopefully it's transmitting signal on Bluetooth. So you'll notice, now I'm going into the Bluetooth menu on my tablet, and it's showing the OBD2 device as an available device to connect to. Do not pair it just yet, because what I found is if you pair it now, and then go and open up Torque, it doesn't work. So, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to open up Torque instead. And now, what you'll notice is as soon as Torque opens, there's a Bluetooth pairing request. So the code is typically 1234, or uh, I've seen reports that 6789 might work as well, um, depending on who made your device. And now you'll notice that Torque immediately says it is connected to an OBD interface. Um, if I had paired the device using the Android menu before opening Torque, Torque would have just told me that it can't find the interface, and that was very frustrating for me until I realized that there is a sequence to this, and this is the one that works with my particular device. And from here on, you're, it's not getting any data yet, but as soon as I plug in and go to the on position, I should start receiving data from the OBD device, or OBD interface hopefully. And Torque is actually currently going through its motions of detecting what interface type I actually have. So this might take a moment. It's actually checking all the various protocols and it's really kind of slow. Okay, so we're connected. Um, show me all my current drive cycle status and all that fun jazz. And if I start the car, I'll start getting feedback from all the other sensors and all the information that EC can provide. So, hopefully this helps you. Um, remember the sequence. Delete, every, delete the paired device. Uh, close out of torque, connect your interface to the car, if need be, put the car in the, or the ignition switch in the on position if you're not getting power. Then check to make sure the Bluetooth is actually shown on your, um, or your Bluetooth menu on your device, shows the OBD2 interface as an available device, and only then go ahead and open torque. Then it'll ask you to pair, at least. 
on this version. I believe this is Jelly Bean 4.1, so your mileage may vary if you have a different build or a different version of Android. Something else I've noticed as well is Torque will let you select from the settings menu what the default connection would be or what which interface you want to connect to. So when you go and looking for uh, here's the Bluetooth preferences device, when you click on that, um, the only one it knows is OBD2, but if you have others, you can select which one you want to connect to. Or alternatively, if your device is always reporting itself as Bob123, well, tell it that you want to connect to Bob123 and it'll simplify your life. Sometimes that may cause issues as well. Other than that, you should be connected. Uh, let me know if this doesn't work or if you have a different way of doing it. Um, this is the only Android device I've got to check uh, this methodology with, but it seems to do well.